So I think that it's the left side. And, and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this because I'm making fun of all. It is what it is. He's an excellent flag puller. Uh, he's real physical. He can run. He can run with three of TMT's receivers. He can. So, depending on their game type situation, I don't think TMT or D. I don't. I don't think DX wants to play well. Whoever scores the most touchdowns win. I mean, if. Team keeping ball control, and like I said, beating DX, you got to make two important stops always. It's always got to be two important stops right. with DX. And if you can do make those plays, then it's a guaranteed win. Well, I think TMT's defense really needs to to come out and, and put a and definitely get those stops. I yeah. mean, they feed, they're going to feature the last two Defensive Player of the Year award winners mm -hmm. with Tweezy and Little Perk. Uh, Tweezy won the MVP this season for mm -hmm. his play on defense. Um, normally, uh, DX has been able to take care of, of Tweezy with the spread, and, and they take him yeah. out. But in the last championship game, he actually made some plays. Yeah, he did. So um, whether he's adjusted to it or they've just they've not uh, made as much of an impact on him, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're gonna find out. Um, Obviously, talent-wise, this is a, a much more talented team than DX had the last championship game, and you know TMT's pretty much it's just them. Mm -hmm. So they just they you know they all they all they got. Yeah. So uh, I th I think that speaks tremendously about what they have, just from the fact that they don't ever reload, they just show up and play, and they're always in this spot. Yeah. So, I mean, um, teams for years, for years. Uh, actually, since I've been playing in the league, we're doing whatever it took to keep on pace with TNT. Right. Even if it was just destroying other teams to make an ultimate merger or a whole bunch of other stuff, the bar set with mm -hmm. that team. And uh, DX knows that, and they did what they had to do. Right. And they wind up beating them last year for the championship. I think that last year, DX did have a, DX had to a buy last year, and they took advantage of TMT playing uh, three, three games, games in a row. Three games, right? This year is just one, and they're going to be fully stocked. So it's going to be a good game. I can't yeah. wait to see it myself. It, it, it's going to be an excellent game, and I, this is again the uh, the definition of you know style style you know contrasting styles. Mm -hmm. so, so what do you think happens if TMT loses? Uh, if TMT loses, it I think it's going to depend on how they lose. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they get a run off the field, then maybe there's some changes that that they decide to make. Mm -hmm. um, if it's another, you know, one point game down to the last seconds kind of thing, then you know maybe team obviously TMT doesn't really have to change because DX put the All Star team together yeah. and they still beat TMT by just one point. So it's gonna. I think it's gonna depend on how the game finishes out. Well, what do you think is gonna happen if DX loses? Uh, DX loses. I th obviously I think you're gonna see some turnover. I don't know if they stay together in the current format. Mm -hmm. um, I think they. I think a lot of the guys enjoy playing with each other. So I don't see them really necessarily going apart. Um, I think a lot of them really enjoy playing the way they're playing right now. Um, I think the ridicule. Forum wise, given all the preseason hype, would be a, would be a lot, but I think most of them can deal with it. So see, I I in the beginning of the season, and you have a history with DX as well because we last year by the count won the the championship, the whole overall league championship, and I joke around with some a couple of guys talking about the good center's going to do the where are they now segments, right? And the first one would be the unit, of course, respectively. With the one championship and then the this poof gone. Yeah, poof gone. And uh, I said the nut the second one was gonna be DX. Right. I and you know, and I mentioned that because I, I personally think that, you know, they have a team, a good team. They have an excellent team. They do. But uh I think the missing key ingredient of this championship game, as opposed to last year, is Wit. Yep. Wit's not here. Wit's not here. Now they have uh they have Hispanic wit, um, but he's just not wit. 
that uh, the guy who looks like Chris, what's it, Christopher Williams? Right. What's his name? <laughs> Christopher Williams. I mean, he's just going to be as close to it as they get. You know, well, Josh is a ball player. You got Josh and you got Peanuts. They so got I mean, Josh and Peanuts. They've essentially both. replaced the lad yeah, for sure. Yeah, but no, I mean, okay, it's good to have speed and talent, but he was the game changer. You know, hell of a throw by Disco. One of the greatest catches I've ever seen by way. That put them over the top with TMT. And if it wasn't for the drop pass in the end zone, TMT wins that game. So what do you think happens? Say we get to the end of the game again, same kind of drama, and the ball's in the air coming to Savante in the end zone. You think he has flashbacks? <laughs> no, I don't think he has flashbacks. Uh, like I said, that team spent, uh, they played three games, and it wasn't like three K games. They played three physical games. They did. Um, I was amazed that he even got his arms up in a catching motion to get the ball. But it is what it is, and you know, if you talk to everybody in TMT last year in the championship game, they were like, you know, it was a good game. Uh, we can't take anything away from DX. They, did they made no excuses. They made no excuses. They gave all the credit in the world to DX. Yeah. So you know, they did. And but I think they're still out for some some vengeance. They are, and this is when it's going to happen. I think that was evidenced by their appearance in the Grid Cup, the way they came out and just ran up to score on everybody. Yeah. I think that was that was a. Uh, that was the case. So, uh, predictions, we're not going to make any. No, I'm not. We're just going to go ahead and, sh and show up and watch the games and yeah. hope it's a very exciting game all the way down. And, you know, we, we don't want to build it up too much because last time we did that for a game, it was a massacre. So, the sick witted, sick witted TMT game. Yeah. When TMT really took them to the woodshed. Yeah, I remember that. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and just leave those alone. Yep. And uh, we're just going to say, you know, congrats to the two teams that made it. Good luck to everyone out there. Uh, you know, Jordan and Tank, have fun. And uh, you know, what can we say? We'll have a champion on, on Sunday. Yeah, and for those who are wondering, this game starts at 1 o'clock. 1 p.m., Field 1 at Fountain Park. See you out there.